Hi everyone. So in the previous videos we talked about Redux Thunk and Redux Promises. So these are the two things we are discussing here: Redux Thunk and Redux Promises. Redux Promises a we have used it with the weather application, and in the last video we were talking about Redux Thunk, how it works. Okay. So we will add on some more examples, examples, and we will try to understand it. So before going into one more application, first we will try to understand the structure. Okay. So to get into uh, Redux Thunk, what you need to do is first you need to install from the command line. This we'll just go for step by step. What all things you need to do to get started with Redux Thunk. After that, while creating a store, this is step two. While creating a store, you need to just pass this Redux thunk in the apply middleware. Okay, simple. We are just importing it. Create store and apply middleware. While creating a store in the apply middleware, you can pass n number of middlewares. Okay, this is what we have as step two. Okay, now after registering Redux thunk as a middleware in our store, we can start using this thunk. Like we can start using asynchronous actions in our code. This one simple example we talked in the previous video is simple counter. Right here we can write synchronous and asynchronous code. And how we are doing it? Whatever the code you are writing, you just need to dispatch the action when you have the data. Either you are using async await, either you are using promises. Once you receive the data, just dispatch that action. So initially. I can dispatch some action. It can be some action I'm dispatching. Okay, it can be like some action I'm dispatching. Then, after executing some asynchronous code, like which is can be a callback, can be a promises, can be a sync await. After getting that done, we can again do the dispatch. So you can invoke synchronously or asynchronous actions with dispatch. Okay, so the important part of this whole Redux thunk is the dispatch. How you are dispatching it? And dispatch, we are just writing that in the inner function. Rest, you can call the dis. You can use this dispatch function to call synchronous and asynchronous function. Another simple examples which we have written in the previous video also is this. Here we are actually getting this inner function. Initially, we dispatch the get user, get current user, which can be a simple string. This type we are sending. Then we are making an API call. Based on that API call, we can dispatch it. So here we are dispatching asynchronously based on the response we are getting from this API call. Here you can do promise dot all whatever you wanted to do, and based on the response you can dispatch the action. Like here, return you can say promise dot all. You might be running multiple promises which are in the array, and once you see everything is executed properly, and you got the data, then you can execute this. You can dispatch this thing. You will be getting data, and like you have promises p1 comma p2, then you can actually pass the data array, right? So this is how you can use the Redux thunk. What we can do is this. We can also use async await. For this, right? So in that case, uh, we can actually use async here. And while doing a dispatch, we may call as await methods, await get data, and this can be a promise, another promise. We will be getting some data from this promise. Okay, this should be actually async. Okay, get data we are getting, and then once this is done, you can actually dispatch it, right? So what we are doing, we are making an API call first, then we are making, we are dispatching this. So in the in the next video, we will see one full fledged application where we will be fetching users and post, and we will be using async await with the Redux thunk.